Oh, meanwhile, it's a historic day in Japan. The country got its new emperor this morning with Emperor Naruhito formally ascending the chrysanthemum throne. The ceremony was held at the state room in the Imperial Palace in capital Tokyo. The 59-year-old emperor received a sword, a gem and a mirror. These objects are passed down through generations of emperors. They are seen as symbols of imperial power. Remember, this is the oldest continuing monarchy in the world. Legends dated back to 600 BC. Now, Naruhito is the 126th emperor of Japan. Naruhito's Ida is called Reiwa. It means order and harmony. Now, Naruhito's father, former Japanese emperor, stepped down after 30 years. Why is it significant? Because Akihito is the first monarch in two centuries to do so. In his final remarks as Emperor Akihito thanked the people for their support and expressed hope for a peaceful future. With millions watching the live broadcast, roughly 300 people were in attendance, including Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, Crown Prince Naruhito, and Crown Prince Masako. Sushinde Mochayamas. Tenno Hekani, Okaramasteva, Coast Tempan, Togure Hono, Sadamel Togonyori, Honditso Mochimaste, Gotai Salamas. Malaki Hito was a popular emperor. His abdication marks the end of the Heisei Ida, which marked closer ties between the monarchy, the government, and the people. Now to the question that's on everyone's minds. Who is succeeding Akihito? The imperial family faces a dwindling number of male heirs. Crown Prince Naruhito has already taken over the throne, but Naruhito will face a host of issues due to the lack of many, many heirs. Now Japan's emperors can only be male and there are only three younger heirs. One, Naruhito's younger brother, Fumihito. Two, Naruhito's 12-year-old nephew, Hisahito. And three, his elderly uncle, Masahito Hitachi. Put simply, Hisahito may find the whole family's future resting on his shoulders in the future. If the emperor doesn't have a son, then the throne would pass on to his brother. In the past, a debate on succession rules had erupted with the birth of Princess Akio, the first grandchild of Emperor Akihito in 2005. 
Back then, the Japanese parliament had proposed to amend imperial household laws to allow a female to ascend the throne. However, the proposal was put to an end with the birth of Akihito's first and only male grandchild, Hisahito, in 2007. But the declining numbers of males in the imperial household has once again given way to considerations to allow stable succession. With changes in time, there have also been demands to do away with gender discriminatory imperial rules. However, the Japanese government said that any amendments in succession laws should be in accordance with the royal family traditions. Last month, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's cabinet secretary said that the administration will be considering whether to allow female members of the imperial family to be the successors. That debate is yet to be settled. Even as Japanese royals and politicians continue to debate succession laws, common people said that they were ready to accept a female ruler. しっかりとあの国民のコンセンサスを取れるような形で、え、次の新しい仕組みに変えていくっていうことは、あの、賛成なので、そういう意味であの、いろんな議論をね、あの、みんなであの、できるような、あの、環境になっていけばいいなというふ